welcome. Uh, we're going to get to know now Endo Bios and Celso. Celso, please. Hi, good morning. Um, well, the, the TV screens are a bit small, so I'll, I'll try to do my, my best. Um, so Endo Bios um, uh, is doing uh, research in two main areas. Microbial derived natural products with application on cosmetics um, and the pharmaceutical industry. And another subject is uh, symbiotic endobacteria um, in eukaryotic hosts. So um, Endobias has four projects and uh, one of them um, is trying to develop um, new marine derived natural products against epilepsy. So these compounds were isolated from a fungus and the fungus was um, isolated from a marine sponge. So it was living in symbiosis with the sponge. So we have cultivated this fungus in the laboratory we have extracted, I have isolated the, the compounds and we noticed that they were active um, uh, against epilepsy in, in a mouse model uh, with already um, very potent activity. Uh, most importantly, they are non-toxic, um, which is perfect for the, for the pharmaceutical industry. So, um, the problem, uh, I just wanted to show some, um, uh, some data about uh, epilepsy. Uh, it's a chronic neuropathy um, caused by seizures uh, and the seizure is an excessive electrical discharge on, on the brain. Uh, it affects around 65 million people in the world, in the America, uh, in the United States alone it's 3 million and almost uh, half a million children. Um, one third of, of all this uh, subpopulation has uncontrolled epilepsy, there is no treatment at all. Um, and one in every 26 uh, people in, in the United States will develop epilepsy at some point of their lifetime. Um, 150,000 new diagnoses in the United States alone every year. Uh, there is the status epilepticus, which is an extreme uh, part of the epilepsy, which is really heartbreaking. Uh, I won't go on, on details now. And in 60% in of the cases, it's, it's unknown. So there is urgent need for new, new ph ph pharmaceutical solutions. Um, just a final note, more people live with epilepsy than with autism, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis and cerebral palsy combined. So let's talk a bit about numbers. Um, the, in 2022, the anti-epileptic drug market will be around, it's estimated to be around $10 billion. Uh, and uh, here in this picture, I don't know if you can see, but we have the, the general pipeline for drug discovery and development. So the pre-discovery was already done and the, the objective of Endobias is to uh, present uh, a strong preclinical data sets so we can sell it to a pharmaceutical company that is willing to invest uh, in human trials. So, um, as you can see here, the, the, the estimated costs for the initial discovery uh, of a, a compound is $8 million uh, and the preclinical assays that I'm doing now, uh, they, they usually spend around $10 million. So, uh, a final price uh, of um, a, a drug project, a drug candidate, um, after the preclinical trials would be on the ballpark of 18 million, which obviously can be higher or lower, um, but that's the, the general value. Just for, uh, uh, for an extra information, one approved drug with all the failures, um, it has been estimated to cost $2.5 billion, including all the failures on, on all these steps. Um, and obviously our customer would be pharmaceutical companies um, willing to develop this, this product. So yeah, I'm not going to go into much details on the, what we need to be done on the preclinical validation, but uh, w something that we need to have uh, is a sustainable production. So we need to um, have a chemical synthesis to have bulk quantities um, to the market and then we need to see uh, the drug um, efficacy um, and toxicological assays <coughs> and um, so what we are uh, my, my strategy is to work as a consortium so I have um, a lot of uh, contacts and they are developing parts of the of the project for example in New Zealand they are currently doing the, the chemical synthesis assays 
and uh, the mouse models, the assays are being done, for example, with Cifarus, which is a Portuguese company, um, also developing uh, a drug in, um, in the preclinical trials, the National Institute for Health in the United States, uh, and uh, an university of Modena in Italy, they have also a broad range of mouse models where we can test the, the, the efficacy and the activity of the, of the compounds. And uh, that's it. Thank you.